Good morning student. I am Kher Singh on behalf of Jyotri Academy. Today we will discuss class 9th subject SST Economics chapter 1st the story of village Palampur. Today we discuss sale of surplus farm product. Sale of surplus, surplus farm product means any product those are in excess in quantity that must be sold out in the market and take profit for that must be sold in the market. Here we discuss crop produced on farms may be used for. Yes, those crop will be uh, generated by the farmers that must be used for self consumption. Thereafter, that must be uh, self consumed by the particular person or here the particular farmer self use of the product sale in the market for profit anything those have been grown that must be not consume uh, whole part so that some part have been consumed and thereafter the left of this the surplus product must be sold out in the market for the profit thereafter saved and invested those amount he want to be uh, he want to be earned that must be saved and invested for a uh, long time period used to buy capital for next year of production those uh, those product are sold out in the market that must be uh, consumed for uh, the next year production if he cannot consume thereafter it is very difficult for next year seed fertilizer crop and other things how he can be purchased that particular product thereafter the marketable surplus in that proportion of the agricultural product agricultural produce which is sold in the market marketable surplus those have been uh, excess in the quantity that must be uh, sold out and some part of that consum that uh, product must be by by use ourselves for example if any farmer have 100 kg of wheat and if any farmer have 1000 kg of wheat and it will be the total output it will be grow in that particular field and 100 kg will be self consume 100 kg will be used by the by the particular farmer and their family so market surplus will market surplus is 900 kg 1000 kg minus 100 kg it will be 900 kg it is market surplus Thereafter, non-farming activities, non-farming activities other than agricultural activities is called non-farming activity. In that particular village, Palampur, uh, most of the people, 75% people are engaged in agriculture and 25% of the people are involved in non-farming activity. So, non-farming activities should be encouraged because they can bring end to poverty in rural areas as they yield greater income in non farming activities help to end to the poverty those people have been not earn sufficient amount of uh, uh, agricultural contents they must go to the non farming activities and non farming activities end to poverty and it uh, also help in rural areas and for more income in non farming activities is very helpful for those farmer those have been not good types of earning and most poor farmer do not have enough money the poor farmer can borrow the money for the uh, big farmers and they cannot uh, uh, take good position for they can continue for that particular uh, so they uh, the, so the poor farmer not even money poor farmer have not less amount of money Thereafter, they cannot continue the production in next year. So, they borrow big farmers but fail to repay their debt. If the poor farmer cannot pay that amount to the big farmer, thereafter they have been very uh, critical condition. These farmers turn to other occupations besides. So, that's why they that particular poor farmer go to the other profession, other occupation uh, where they can survive uh, survive uh, their uh, survive ourselves and their family so they want to be find out some employ some types different types of employment 
एंड सरप्लस फार्मर सरप्लस फार्मर टेक एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर्म एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर नॉन फार्मिंग activities it is very helpful for the poor farmers they want they not have been sufficient amount of money and other things thereafter how to encourage non farming activities if the poor farmer have been not encouraged thereafter it is very difficult for their life so providing loan at low level of interest if the loan will be provided at low level of interest thereafter it will be uh, it will be encouraged to the poor farmers non farming activities requires little land non farming activities not need more and more a land thereafter they can grow the crop and they can be sold out in the market and thereafter they turn they earn more and more profit and in rural area people must be provide loan at low level of low rate of interest thereafter the non farming activity will be more uh, uh, encouraged providing transportation facility uh, if in rural area if the transportation facility is not available thereafter the particular uh, non farming activities uh, mean are dairy industry and different types of other things um, and the person those have been involved in non farming activity they must be trained different types of skill must be improved and they must be take benefit so uh, non farming activity must be encouraged provide low rate of interest and little uh, in uh, little land uh, and more capital if, uh, and transportation facility will be provided and uh, training and skill will be provided thank you very much